In this video, we will learn how to estimate the area under the curve. The questions will be given something like this with a table of values. We have to use left endpoint and right endpoint evaluation. This is very easy method. You should just understand when we use the left endpoint, we have to use the leftmost value. See from this f of x values, from this we begin. We start this, next this, 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 and it goes on. We don't use the last value. This is omitted. We leave that. Only these are added and multiplied by the interval. Because left endpoint means we start with these only. And the rightmost value is not used. So that's the thing. So what do we do is the formula is very simple. F of x, that is summation of f of x into delta x. Now, what is this delta x? It is the interval. Look at the interval, the jump. It is 0 0.1, isn't it, between each? So there are how many intervals? If n is given, n values are given, n minus 1 intervals. So that's why we leave one value. But in the left end point, we leave the rightmost value because we start counting from left side. Whereas in the right end point method, we start from the right side and we omit the last left value. That is the only thing you need to know in this topic. It's such an easy one. All you're doing is look over here, adding up all these for the left hand endpoint method. You're adding up from the left side. See f of 0 0.0. You can directly do it. Add this 2 plus 2.4 plus 2.6 and until 1.4. And then you multiply all of this with the interval that is 0 0.1. That is the formula. And the same thing over here with the right endpoint, you can start with 2.4 because you're leaving the first value, the leftmost value. You can either do 0 0.6 plus 1.4, 2, or you can start from the second value and add up the old and multiply it with 0 0.1. You're multiplying 0 0.1. Same method is followed for all the other problems. One of the easiest topic over here. Please go through this. Try to use your calculator and solve this by yourselves. Remember, add these old values for the left end point from the left side, leave the last one and multiply by the interval. Here the interval is again 0 0.1. For the right end point, start from the right side, leave the leftmost point and multiply by the interval 0 0.1. And please do this. So here the interval is, the jump is 0 0.2, so we multiply by 0 0.2. That's it, very easy topic. Use your calculator solve a couple of problems and you'll be very thorough with this.